Hi, I'm Heather. Welcome to class. Today we're going to work with dynamic action, moving in and out of postures on the breath, and we'll use minimal props. Before we begin, if you find this video helpful, be sure to like and subscribe. Hit the bell so you're notified when a new video is available. Let's stand in Tadasana, bring the legs together, inner feet touching, spread the toes well, so you're broadening the foundation on which you're standing. Stretch down to the fingertips and zip up the navel, draw the navel up from the pubis as you lift the front pelvic bones up and lengthen the tailbone down. Fingers interlocked, press the palms forward, inhale, stretch the arms up, squeeze the elbow tips in, exhale, arms out and down. Swap the interlock of the fingers. So you've got the opposite index finger interlocking on top. Press the palms forward, elbows straight. Inhale, take the arms up, squeeze the elbow tips in, and exhale, arms out and down. Again, normal interlock. Palms forward, elbows squeeze in. Inhale, arms up. Descend the tailbone. Exhale, arms out and down. Opposite interlock. Palms press forward, squeeze the elbow tips in. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, arms out and down. We'll continue. Make sure your lower back is long. Inhale, arms up. Tailbone lengthening down. Exhale, arms out and down. One more. Inhale, arms up. And exhale, arms out and down. We'll move on to Utkatasana, coming in and out of the pose on the breath. Raise the arms, inhale, bend the knees as you exhale, squeeze the thighs together, descend the buttocks, inhale, stand up, exhale, arms out and down, inhale, arms out and up, exhale, bend the knees, descend the buttocks, tailbone down, inhale up. Exhale, arms down. Make sure you're lifting the navel. Inhale, arms up. As you bend the knees, exhale. Lift the navel up, abdomen away from the thighs. Inhale, stand up. Exhale, arms out and down. Again, inhale up. Exhale, squeeze the inner thighs together. Plug the heels and the balls of the feet. Inhale up. Exhale. Again, inhale, exhale, zip the navel up as you descend the buttocks, inhale, stand up, exhale, arms out and down. And we can take a moment to recover our breath. Easy, steady breathing. Now, we'll work with Utkatasana, the chair pose that we were just doing, and we'll transition into Uttanasana, which is a forward bend. I'm going to turn sideways for this. Legs together. This time, instead of taking the arms out and up, we'll take the arms forward and up. Make sure the tailbone's lengthening down even when you bend the knees into Utkatasana. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, bend the knees. So we come to Utkatasana, inhale and exhale, fold forward and down to Uttanasana, straighten the knees if you can manage. Then bend the knees, Utkatasana, descend the buttocks as you resist the forearms up, inhale, stand up and exhale, arms out and down. Arms forward and up, inhale. Bend the knees as you exhale. Plug the heels. Pause as you inhale. Exhale now. Fold forward and down. Uttanasana. Bend the knees as you inhale. Raise the arms all the way up. Urdhvahastasana. Exhale. Tadasana. Again. Inhale, arms up. Bend the knees as you exhale. Keep lifting the navel up. Inhale, exhale, forward bend, Uttanasana. Now bend the knees, 
Utkatasana. Inhale to Urdhvahasta and exhale Tadasana. And again, take a couple of breaths. And we'll speed up that transition into Uttanasana now as we repeat a few more times. Arms forward and up. Inhale. Exhale. Utkatasana through to Uttanasana all on that one exhale. Bend the knees. Utkatasana to Urdhvahastasana. And exhale. Inhale, arms up. Exhale, bend the knees. And then fold down into the legs. Straighten the knees if you can manage. Bend the knees. Inhale up all the way. Exhale. Tadasana. Let's do one more. Inhale. Exhale. Bend the knees. Squeeze the thighs together. Fold forward and down. Bend the knees. Inhale. Then stand all the way up. And exhale. Tadasana. And so again, as we're standing in Tadasana, we can allow the breath to steady. Keeping the facial muscles soft. Now, if we take Utkatasana out of the equation, we'll start in Tadasana, raising the arms and folding forward and down intending to keep the knees straight. Arms forward and up, inhale. If your lower back is a little weak, rather than having the arms coming forward, you can take the arms out and down as you fold into the legs. And likewise, when we come up, inhale, the arms can go out and up. And let's come through, namaste as we exhale. If your lower back feels strong, and you feel supple in the hamstrings, then the arms are moving forward and down as we come in and out of the pose. Inhale. Exhale, forward bend. Uttanasana. Inhale, arms up, and we'll move through. Namaste as we exhale. Inhale, arms up. Keep your tailbone down, and then exhale. Fold forward and down into the legs. Inhale, raise the arms up, tailbone descends, exhale, prayer posture, Tadasana, inhale, arms up, exhale, forward and down, keep the kneecaps gripping, inhale, all the way up, zip the navel up, exhale, one more, inhale up, exhale, forward and down, all the way, look forward, arms up, inhale, and through our prayer posture as we exhale. Again, take a moment in Tadasana to catch your breath and uh, consciously steady your breath. We're going to move on to stepping arms and legs out wide into Uttita Hasta Padasana. And we'll go on the breath. Inhale, hands in front of the chest. Exhale as you bend the knees and then stride one leg, other leg out wide, feet parallel. Hands in front of the chest, inhale. And then we collect the legs as the arms sweep out and down. Now it's common that we're one leg dominant, we'll be leading with one leg, but we wanna alternate each time we step. So. Can you remember and step the opposite leg out first? Inhale, bend the knees, exhale, stride out wide. Inhale, remember opposite leg leading as we exhale back to Tadasana. Again, to our favoured leg, inhale, bend the knees, exhale, arms and legs wide. Inhale, with our favoured leg, step back in, exhale. And again, with our least dominant leg, inhale, exhale, arms and legs out wide, inhale, exhale, arms and legs back in together. And again, pause, observe your breath, steady the breath. Now, 
Some of you may want to continue the stepping, the striding out wide, particularly if you've got problems with the ankles, knees, hips or lower back. Uh, however, if you feel able, we'll start jumping in and out of this uh, wide leg pose. Inhale, bend the knees, exhale, arms and legs wide, hands in front of the chest. Inhale, bend the knees, exhale back to Tadasana. We want to use the arms to help bring the legs back in. Inhale, bend the knees, exhale, arms and legs wide. Inhale, hands in front of the chest, bend the knees. Exhale, arms and legs back to Tadasana. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale, let's do one more. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Bring the legs together and we notice our breath, we may be a bit puffed. Can you consciously slow the breath down? We notice the heart rate increases, the breath rate does increase but we can consciously slow the breath down here. The heart rate just takes time to settle. Now we'll move on to Trikonasana. We'll jump or step arms and legs wide and we'll come in and out of Trikonasana on the breath. Triangle pose, inhale, exhale, arms and legs wide. Turn your feet to the right side. Grip the kneecaps, keep the quadriceps active. Inhale, exhale, over the right leg, push into the back heel to stand up, inhale. Exhale, over the right leg, inhale, stand up. Exhale, over the right leg, keep the left chest broad, inhale. Exhale, so left chest lifting up to the ceiling, inhale. Exhale, keep the buttocks pressing forward. Inhale, so note, as you exhale, go over the leg that you're not sticking the buttocks back. Inhale, last one. Exhale, inhale, stand up. Turn your feet to the left. Left thigh, turning out, kneecaps gripped. Inhale, exhale, over the left leg, and push into the right heel to help you stand up as you inhale. Exhale, over the left leg. Inhale, stand up. Exhale, over the left leg. Inhale, stand up. Exhale, keep the legs firm, kneecaps crept. Inhale. Exhale, buttocks press forward. Inhale. Exhale. Keep the right chest broad, lifting up to the ceiling. Inhale, last one. Exhale. Inhale, stand up. Turn your feet to the front. We'll jump or step back in. Legs together, Tadasana. Again, consciously slow and steady your breath. Let's now move into Virabharasana 2, Warrior Pose 2. Again, on the breath, in and out of the pose, on the breath. Inhale, exhale, arms and legs wide. Turn your feet to the right side. Push firmly into the back heel, inhale. Bend the right knee as you exhale. Inhale to stand up. Exhale, bend, and you might like to look at the knee. Make sure it's not rolling forward. Inhale, stand up. Exhale. Resist back into that left heel. Inhale. Exhale. Push into the left heel. Inhale, stand up. Exhale, bend. Inhale, stand up. Keep the shoulders rolling back and down. Exhale, bend. Inhale, up. Last one. Exhale. And inhale, stand up. Turn your feet. Left side. Left thigh turning out, plug the back heel, inhale, bend the knee as you exhale, 
push into the back heel, inhale, stand up. Exhale, and again, you might not like to look at the left leg, make sure the knee's turning out, inhale. Exhale as you bend the knee, inhale, stand up. Exhale, bend all the while, plug into the back heel, inhale up. Exhale, bend, watch you're not sticking the buttocks back, inhale up. Exhale, bend, inhale up, last one. Exhale, bend, inhale, stand up. Turn your feet to the front and we'll jump or step back in. Tadasana, legs together. Easy, steady breathing. Now we'll move on to Ardha Chandrasana, the half moon pose. And again, we'll use the breath to come in and out of the pose. If you do feel stiff, you can use a block underneath your hand when you come into this pose. Inhale, bend the knees, exhale, jump, arms and legs wide. Turn your feet to the right side, inhale, bend the right knee as you exhale, lean over the leg, reach your right hand forward as you hop the back leg in, right fingertips to the floor, inhale the leg up. Bend the right knee as you exhale, stride the leg back, inhale, stand all the way up, inhale. Bend the right knee as you exhale, reach down, reach your fingertips forward as you inhale, raise the back leg, bend the knee, stride back, inhale, stand up, inhale, bend the knee as you exhale, reach over the leg, inhale, raise the leg up, exhale, lower, inhale up. Exhale, reach to the floor as you raise the leg, inhale. Exhale, stride back, inhale up. Last one, exhale, over the leg, reach to the floor, fly the left leg up, bend the right knee, long stride back, inhale, stand up. Turn your feet, left side, left side turning out. Inhale, bend the knee as you exhale, reach over the leg, reach your left fingertips forward, hop the back leg in and fly it up as you inhale. Bend the left knee, long stride back and inhale, stand up, inhale. Bend the knee as you start to lean over, exhale there. Inhale as you fly the right leg up. Exhale, lower the leg, inhale, stand up. Exhale, bend the knee, reach forward and raise the back leg, inhale. Bend the knee as you exhale, stride back, inhale up. Exhale, bend the knee, reach out and down, inhale. Bend the knee, exhale, long stride back, inhale up. Last one. Exhale, bend the knee, reach out and down, raise the back leg, bend the knee, exhale, and inhale as you stand up. Turn your feet. Jump or step in, Tadasana. Bring the legs together. Stretch into the fingertips. And steady your breath. We'll do one more pose. It is a balancing pose. If balance is a struggle for you, set yourself so that you're facing the wall and you can potentially use the wall to refer to. Vrukshasana, tree pose. Right leg, catch the ankle, squeeze the heel high up into the inner thigh and raise as you inhale. Arms out and down, exhale, right leg down. Let's repeat on the right leg. Bend the knee, catch the ankle, squeeze the heel into the groin. Inhale, arms up, tailbone down. Exhale, arms out and down, right leg down. Once more on the right leg. 
right leg, Rukshasana, tree pose. Inhale, arms up. Exhale and lower the arms and the leg. Now with the left leg, so we bring our balance, transfer the weight into the right leg, bend the leg, catch the ankle, squeeze the heel high up into the inner right thigh, inhale the arms up, exhale, arms out and down as you lower the leg. Repeat with the left leg, bend the knee, squeeze the heel into the groin, inhale arms up, exhale arms out and down, lower the left leg. Once more, left leg, Brukshasana, inhale arms up, exhale, back to Tadasana. Let's finish up now by doing a restful Uttanasana. Take your buttocks back to the wall, step your feet out, a little longer, a little further than your foot's length away from the wall. Slide the buttocks up the wall as you fold forward and down. Catch the elbows, drape the head down, drape the arms down. If you feel stiff, perhaps this is not for you, perhaps best for you to put your forearms on a chair seat. Either way, we're wanting to rest the heart and rest the head. Come out of the pose, press the fingertips to the wall next to the hips, take the hips off the wall, hands to the waist and stand all the way up. That's it for today. Thanks for joining me. For more in-depth teaching, check out the video library on my website, heatherkitchenyoga.com.au. The link is in the description box below.